Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan Ray again, and welcome back to my channel. So today I received a Magic Leap, which is honestly a huge box. The as soon as as soon as I got in, I told my wife to get it away from my kids because they were they just wanted to open it, and I don't blame it because it looks like a really cool box. So what I'm gonna be doing today is actually unwrapping the Magic Leap and unboxing them so i want to walk you through the entire process let's get it out i haven't actually ever wear one so i'm going to be as transparent as i can with the entire process so let's go into it and start looking at what's inside of this box all right guys so here it is here's the magic leap and like i was saying i, I received it yesterday and i didn't want to open it up because i wanted to show it to you guys so you can see that it's a it's a pretty large box but it's actually pretty light it's completely sealed. You have a little handle here. You can see the, the seal here saying once seal is broken, then you cannot, it cannot be returned. And that's, you know, regular warranty policies. So the other thing that I want to show you is if I turn it this way, you can see that I have, you know, a list of components that come inside the box. I can see that, I, that I'm getting a lightware, the control, and also a power cable, and then other additional accessories that I'll be showing you in the video. And I have the Magic Leap logo there and then some barcode information and model information in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start unwrapping it. And I am really excited about doing this. So let's let's get to it. So it's going to get it open right there. And here we go. It's actually pretty, pretty easy to open. Already, and you can see that I still need to get the this little tape out. So let me get that out. And yeah, I know Magic Leap. I won't be able. I won't be returning it because I have a lot of different uses for it. Okay, and let me just get that open. And perfect. Okay, so here we go, guys. I'm super excited. Okay, let me actually turn it the other way so that you can see. You can see everything. Okay, so it looks like I, I open it up and I get, you know, the well. And that looks like the well example from the demo that Magic Leap had. And I have a little manual here, which is a Magic Leap 1 Creator Edition, the Quick Start Guide. And to be honest, it, this really smells good. It smells like new, which is, which is probably what it is, it's new. You gotta see, you know, welcome to Magic Leap 1. We're adding another dimension to computer where digital respects the physical and they work together to make life better. Magic Leap One is built for creators who want to change in how we experience the world. And you can see some of the, some of the things that are gonna be inside. I have the, the lightware with a set of back pads, forehead pad, nose pad, and the standard insert. Here's a light pad. That's actually where the CPU is and the GPU is. This is gonna be, you know, most of the power and the computer, the computing power is gonna be in the light pack. And then I have my controller, and then here's the light pack, the light pack charger, the control charger, and then some additional accessories, the forehead pad two, nose pad, nose pad three, and I guess those are for different sizes. Then I also get a wrist, a, a wrist linear, and then two USB-C cables, a power cable, and then of course my quick start guide, and also a cleaning cloth. Then on the second page, I get, I get some instructions on you know, where you should put it, how you, you can actually, you know, put that on your pants. And it shows you here the inserts. Also what you should do, what you shouldn't be doing. Uh, don't put it inside of your, inside of your pocket, put it outside of your pocket. And they say that clearly in the instructions for setting it up. And adjusting light wire. So I want to read through this because we're going to have to go through this anyway, as I, as I get it out. And then when you want to feed it, for, up, for optimal comfort and visual experience, rest the device around the widest part of your head. Always leave a gap between your ears and the light wire. Okay, perfect. So to turn it on, you just have to count to three, two, and one, and, and basically hold that button. And then fi finishing the setup will guide you through the rest of the setup on the device. And identifying some of the controls. So we'll have a control, uh, basically a microphone on the on the light wire, also a status indicator because the microphone is right there 
sensor suite and a picture camera. The USB-C connector is going to be right there on the light pack. The power button and an LED indicator. Then, so I guess it's important because if we want the volume up and, up, up and down, it's going to be in the light pack, I guess, underneath. Then also reality button, toggles the audio and visual content on and off. And then a couple of vents because there's a lot of things going on in there. The GPU is running, so it's going to need some, some error flow and an LED indicator on the, on the actual controller. And then we're going to have our little touch pad. Also a trigger button on the back and then my bumper button, USB-C connector for charging and then that liner scoop. So this is a demonstration of how we should be charging it and connecting everything. So we're going to go from our power cable to our charger. This charger is going to be the one charging the light pack. And then from the light pack, we're going to go all the way through a light wire. And then if you want to charge the control, I guess it's similar. You basically just connect to the control charger unit. And then we're going to use a USB-C cable to connect to the control. And that's basically the beginning. And then let's see. So I'm getting safety and regulatory information, magicleak.com safety. And then if I need to do, you know, warranty and returns, you got to go to magicleak.com and then warranty. I also got some different icons in here. This device is not intended for kids. So I have a kid that is three year old and another one is five year old. So definitely they can't use it. So that's a good excuse for not letting them use it. Well, except that it's pretty expensive. So I don't want to, I don't want to have a broken device right away. And then immediately stop use if experiencing any pain or discomfort. The small parts, straps and cords could be a choking hazard. All right, so that's that's very common. So now if I get it, I get it out. And there we go, guys, so cool. So I'm gonna get this pad out so you can kind of see it's basically to protect the, the actual Magic Leap from, from getting damaged. So, and then here's the Magic Leap one. So. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it aside and we can put the instructions. So here's what we have. And this is honestly beautiful. It's beautifully wrapped. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not part of Magic Leap by, by any means. This just looks and feels really, really cool. So I got my little trigger here and then my trackpad. And, and it's a little bit, it's not too light, but it's not, it's not that heavy either. But it feels like there's a lot of power inside. So, and yeah, it just feels like high quality. The other thing that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna look at, I guess this is the light pack. Oh, and look at, look at this, this actually comes out. So, oh wow, and this, this is a little bit heavy, not to the point that I can't carry it, especially if you, you know, if you exercise, then that won't be that heavy. And I guess this thing right here, that's where it's gonna be put into, put into my pants and you can actually wear it, so. It's actually really cool. Here's the logo. And we were looking at, let me just get it out so you can see it closer. So we were looking at some of these buttons on the instructions. You can see that the volume up, volume down, and then here's that reality button. And this, here's some of the air vents. So for the airflow, my USB-C, and of course my power cable. And here's the way, the button to power it on. This thing looks really, really cool. It looks, it honestly looks like something that came from the future and I'm, and I'm not kidding. I've seen a lot of cool hardware, but this looks really, really cool. All right. So let, now let's get this guy out and this is actually the light wire. So you can kind of see that it looks really, really cool. I, we have, let's see, we have a couple of speakers on the side right here. And then there's also one right over here. You can kind of see also it has the pads so you can protect it from, you know, from your head. You also see the forehead pads that is sitting that is sitting just right here, and the there's also a couple of cameras on the front. So you can see there's a camera right there, a camera right there. I believe that's a camera as well, and then some type of sensors. And then your protector your protector for your nose is right there. And the other thing that is really cool that I was that I was checking out is basically how you can size it. So if your head is a little bigger, you can size it that way. You can also bring it down. So this thing looks really, really cool. I, I am pretty happy. It's actually not too heavy either. This is actually pretty, pretty light. It's amazing how light it is. So let's just put this one back and back in place. And the box is, is made in a way that it's really easy to put things back in place. So 
As you can see, I have basically put, I took it out, put it back in, and it wasn't really complicated to do that. So there's my light pack, like I, like I explained to you, also my light wear, and I show you the control. The, the other thing that I wanted to show you is I have, I also have a fit kit that comes with it. So if we open it up, we can see we have two different forehead pads, one and two, I believe one is already in the device and also nose pads, so I believe one is already in the device, so if you need different sizes for different noses, you have those. So let me get some of these ones out so you can see how they look like, and this is the, this is basically the additional one. And if I get it out, you can see that this one is number two, and it has the opening so we can put it easily on the device. So I'm just gonna put this back and close it up. And now we can go to the nose pads and show you how those look like. And let's just get it out. And I'll just get one out. One is already in the device, so let's get number three. And you can see that those, how those look like. It has like a little attachment so we can easily put it in place. And it's gonna put it back and put everything back. So the more I notice the packaging, the more that I like it because everything is really well thought out. So I'm just gonna put it back in the box. You can see I just open that, that little door and then close it. I can do the same thing with this. So if we wanna put it back, the same thing with this guy, take it out, put it back in. I can also use this little, as like a, like a little thing that you can basically pop it up so you don't have to pull it and force it. The same thing with this one. And with this one, you basically just, you can just get it out. It's really easy to, to take out. Then I also have another thing here that I, I haven't checked yet. And let me just get it out. I believe this is, yeah, this is one of the, the cleaning. So this is what we're gonna use to clean our lenses. And it's really important that we keep them clean. I was reading something about, you know, making sure that it's clean so that you get the best experience. I guess the, the way that, that it works is the, if the lens are not clean, it's gonna be really, it's not gonna be as precise when it comes to the augmented reality. Okay, so that, I'm just gonna put that back. And I think that's everything that I was gonna, oh, hang on, I got something else in here, of course. So this is gonna be the charger for the controller. So you can see it has a USB-C connector right there. And, and everything that Magic Leap makes is, is really impressive. This is This is really cool looking, it's not just, a square charger just like the apple one they have their own you know their own way it sounds like everything that they make is very round so you can see this is round this has some kind of roundness in it and then also the power the light pack is is round so and then even on the on the lenses itself you can see that there's roundness around it i think that they go with you know that kind of style so i really like it i'm, I'm pretty happy so far and let me just put this back. And, oh, cool, I have some control accessories too. So here's the controller accessories. So let me just get it out and see what's inside. What imagine is the USB-C cables. And yep, I have a USB-C cable right here. And I have a free your mind, holy cow. I'm gonna put that in my hat, that's really cool. And I also have, oh, I guess this is basically so you can put it on your around your wrist and you don't look, you don't basically lose it. And also little thing to keep it from, yeah, so that looks really, really cool. So let's just close this out. Really excited about it. I'm actually gonna get this out because the, I'm gonna, let me check, let me just get this one. This just looks really cool and I wanna show you in a closer. <laughs> I'm more excited about this than anything else. No, I'm just kidding, I'm excited about the whole thing. Just gonna get that out because I'm gonna put that on my hat. Okay, cool. Let's see what else do we have in here. So I show you the light pack, but we didn't see what was under that. So I'm just gonna set it aside here, far away from the glasses because it's a little heavy. And we can open this up. And it's basically the same setup. Looks like this is the same shape as the other ones. And this is gonna be the charger for a light pack. So we got our power. We can go from power there to USB-C, which then is gonna connect through USB-C by using that. So there'll be a cable going from here to here. And I believe the other cable is probably sitting in there, in this box. 
So let's just get that out and see what's inside of this one. Perfect, let's get it out. And I'm gonna keep saying it, I'm impressed with the wrapping of everything. So here's my USB-C cable and then here's my power cable going into the, basically this pack. Okay, cool. So let me just get this back in. And here's the iPad accessories box. Put it in place. And the more that I that I do this, the the best smell that I'm getting, this smells like buying a, a new car. Not only a new car, but like a really high quality new car. So it's gonna close this down and let's put everything back in place. And let me push some of these cables down a little bit. And I think that's everything that I have in there. And let me just close the box and I'll put everything in place. And if we notice, let's see, let's go around and we can review what we cover. So we had a light work assembled with a forehead pad, which we looked at, also a nose pad, a set of back pads, a standard insert in a light pack. We also look at the control, the, the wrist linear, and also the light pad charger, which is 45 watts, the control charger, which is 15 watts. And then we did see that we had two USB-C cables 0.9 millimeters and then also the power cable which was 1.25 meters sorry that's 0.9 meters no millimeters and then a cleaning cloth and then a fit kit so we did look at everything I'm, I'm really really excited about playing around with the magic leaf so you stay tuned that I'm going to be showing more videos as I get my hands into the experience I am going to be building a lot of games using magic leap one so that's one of the reasons why I got the magic leap so Thank you very much for joining guys and if you have any questions about the magic leap let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share this video because it's really going to help me grow the channel i'm really excited about everything that i'm doing in the channel i'm going to be bringing a lot of augmented reality the next one that i'm going to be unboxing unboxing is the virtual reality headsets i am getting the oculus rift and the oculus go so stay tuned for that thank you guys